fibroblast growth factors, or FGFs, are a family of growth factors, with members involved in angiogenesis, wound healing, embryonic development and various endocrine signaling pathways. The FGFs are heparin binding proteins and interactions with cell surface associated heparin sulfate proteoglycans have been shown to be essential for FGF signal transduction. FGFs are key players in the processes of proliferation and differentiation of wide variety of cells and tissues. Families, in humans, 22 members of the FGF family have been identified, all of which are structurally related signaling molecules. Members FGF1 through FGF10 all bind fibroblast growth factor receptors. FGF1 is also known as acidic, and FGF2 is also known as basic fibroblast growth factor. Members FGF11, FGF12, FGF13, and FGF14, also known as FGF homologous factors 1 to 4, have been shown to have distinct functional differences compared to the FGFs. Although these factors possess remarkably similar sequence homology, they do not bind FGFRs and are involved in intracellular processes unrelated to the FGFs. This group is also known as IFGF. Human FGF18 is involved in cell development and morphogenesis in various tissues including cartilage. Human FGF20 was identified based on its homology to Xenopus FGF20. FGF15 through FGF23 were described later and functions are still being characterized. FGF15 is the mouse ortholog of human FGF19 and, where their functions are shared, they are often described as FGF15-19. In contrast to the local activity of the other FGFs, FGF15-19, FGF21 and FGF23 have systemic effects. Receptors the mammalian fibroblast growth factor receptor family has four members, FGFR1, FGFR2, FGFR3, and FGFR4. The FGFRs consist of three extracellular immunoglobulin-type domains, a single-span transmembrane domain and an intracellular split tyrosine kinase domain. FGFs interact with the D2 and D3 domains with the D3 interactions primarily responsible for ligand binding specificity. Heparin sulfate binding is mediated through the D3 domain. A short stretch of acidic amino acids located between the D1 and D2 domains has auto-inhibitory functions. This acid box motif interacts with the heparin sulfate binding site to prevent receptor activation in the absence of FGFs. Alternate mRNA splicing gives rise to B and C variants of FGFRs 1, 2 and 3. Through this mechanism seven different signaling FGFR subtypes can be expressed at the cell surface. Each FGFR binds to a specific subset of the FGFs. Similarly most FGFs can bind to several different FGFR subtypes. FGF1 is sometimes referred to as the universal ligand as it is capable of activating all seven different FGFRs. In contrast, FGF7 binds only to FGFR2b. The signaling complex at the cell surface is believed to be a ternary complex formed between two identical FGF ligands, two identical FGFR subunits, and either one or two heparin sulfate chains. History Fibroblast growth factor was found in pituitary extracts by Armlin in 1973 and then was also found in a cow brain extract by Gospo Darawich, AL, and tested in a biosay that caused fibroblasts to proliferate. They then further fractionated the extract using acidic and basic pH and isolated two slightly different forms that were named acidic fibroblast growth factor and basic fibroblast growth factor. These proteins had a high degree of amino acid identity but were determined to be distinct mitogens. Human FGF2 occurs in low molecular weight and high molecular weight isoforms. LMWFGF2 is primarily cytoplasmic and functions in an autocrine manner, whereas HMWFGF2 is a nuclear and exert activities through an intracrine mechanism. Not long after FGF1 and FGF2 were isolated, Another group isolated a pair of heparin binding growth factors that they named HBGF1 and HBGF2, 
while a third group isolated a pair of growth factors that caused proliferation of cells in a biosay containing blood vessel endothelium cells, which they called ECGF1 and ECGF2. These proteins were found to be identical to the acidic and basic FGFs described by Gospo Darawich, al. Functions FGFs are multifunctional proteins with a wide variety of effects. They are most commonly mitogens but also have regulatory, morphological, and endocrine effects. They have been alternately referred to as pluripotent growth factors and as promiscuous growth factors due to their multiple actions on multiple cell types. Promiscuous refers to the biochemistry and pharmacology concept of how a variety of molecules can bind to and elicit a response from single receptor. In the case of FGF, four receptor subtypes can be activated by more than 20 different FGF ligands. Thus the functions of FGFs in developmental processes include mesoderm induction, anteroposterior patterning, limb development, neural induction and neural development, and in mature tissue systems angiogenesis, keratinocyte organization, and wound healing processes. FGF is critical during normal development of both vertebrates and invertebrates and any irregularities in their function leads to a range of developmental defects. FGF secreted by hippoblasts during avian gastrulation play a role in stimulating a WNT signaling pathway that is involved in the differential movement of collar sickle cells during formation of the primitive streak. One important function of FGF1 and FGF2 is the promotion of endothelial cell proliferation and the physical organization of endothelial cells into tube-like structures. They thus promote angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels from the pre-existing vasculature. FGF1 and FGF2 are more potent angiogenic factors than vascular endothelial growth factor or platelet-derived growth factor. FGF1 has been shown in clinical experimental studies to induce angiogenesis in the heart. As well as stimulating blood vessel growth, FGFs are important players in wound healing. FGF1 and FGF2 stimulate angiogenesis and the proliferation of fibroblasts that give rise to granulation tissue, which fills up a wound space cavity early in the wound healing process. FGF7 and FGF10 stimulate the repair of injured skin and mucosal tissues by stimulating the proliferation, migration and differentiation of epithelial cells, and they have direct chemotactic effects on tissue remodeling. During the development of the central nervous system, FGFs play important roles in neural stem cell proliferation, neurogenesis, axon growth, and differentiation. FGF signaling is important in promoting surface area growth of the developing cerebral cortex by reducing neuronal differentiation and hence permitting the self-renewal of cortical progenitor cells, known as radial glial cells and FGF2 has been used to induce artificial gyrification of the mouse brain. Another FGF family member, FGF8, regulates the size and positioning of the functional areas of the cerebral cortex. FGFs are also important for maintenance of the adult brain. Thus, FGFs are major determinants of neuronal survival both during development and during adulthood. Adult neurogenesis within the hippocampus for example depends greatly on FGF2. In addition, FGF1 and FGF2 seem to be involved in the regulation of synaptic plasticity and processes attributed to learning and memory, at least in the hippocampus. Most FGFs are secreted proteins that bind heparin sulfates and can, therefore, be caught up in the extracellular matrix of tissues that contain heparin sulfate proteoglycans. This local action of FGF proteins is classified as paracrine signaling, most commonly through the JAKSTAT signaling pathway or the receptor tyrosine kinase pathway. Members of the FGF19 subfamily bind less tightly to heparin sulfates, and so can act in an endocrine fashion on faraway tissues, such as intestine, liver, kidney, adipose, and bone. For example, FGF15 and FGF19 are produced by intestinal cells but act on FGFR4 expressing liver cells to darwingulate the key gene in the bile acid synthesis pathway. FGF23 is produced by bone but acts on FGFR1 expressing kidney cells to regulate the synthesis of vitamin D and phosphate homeostases. 
Structure The crystal structures of HBGF1 have been solved and found to be related to interleukin 1 beta. Both families have the same 12 stranded beta sheet structure, and the beta sheets are arranged in three similar lobes around a central axis, six strands forming an anti parallel beta barrel. In general, the beta sheets are well preserved and the crystal structures superimpose in these areas. The intervening loops are less well conserved. The loop between beta strands 6 and 7 is slightly longer in interleukin 1 beta. See also, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, nerve growth factor, neurotrophins, erythropoietin, thrombopoietin, myostatin, growth differentiation factor 9, gyrification. References External links Fibroblast Growth Factors at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, FGF1 in Cosmetic Products, this article incorporates text from the public domain FAM and Interpro IPR002348.